Okay, so the parts are laid out here for issue 28 of the Valentino Rossi bike. Uh, yeah, it's the sump. We've got a sprocket, which is actually metal. So this is going to be a sprocket part. I've kept these parts in the bag just because uh, I don't want them getting damaged or lost. So we've got a couple of sight glasses and then some random like screws and washers and things. As I say, I've left them in the bag just so they don't get lost, really. Um, but yeah, um, quite nicely detailed as everything is on this engine with one fourth scale. So it's going to be um, just going to get this fitted onto this engine there by those things. It's the sump and sprocket for uh, issue 28. Okay, so bringing over the sump and the part from the last issue 27, which is this part of the sump, and also the micro switch holder uh, that we also assembled in issue 27. Um, yeah, uh, press, it says the first thing we're going to be doing is uh, pressing the locating pins of sump cover. So this is the sump cover, it's quite nicely detailed, as I say, and we're going to have to find where this goes. It's going to go on this area here of the sump and that way around i believe yes it'll only go one way uh, it wouldn't go the other way it wouldn't fit so it can only go one way and it's just a press fit so that's the sump cover on the red or, or drain plug or whatever so after we've uh, attached the sump cover to the sump turn it over and um touch in this micro switch cover that we got in the last kind of issue just making sure it goes the right way around yep so it kind of goes so it's got two locating pins internally and one that's going to go for the screw push it down and then what is it this is a type j screw so type j screw That looks like just fit it in there. Okay, bring it over the engine. Uh, so, okay, just trying to work out which way around it goes. So, we've got this side with the blank, so we've got that kind of side there, and so we're going to go in that way around. So, the side with the missing part looks like it's got a missing part there which we're obviously going to fit on in a bit uh, and that goes on that way around I believe which is just copying the picture really yeah I think that's how it looks yes so we're going to put a J screw into that hole there So I'm going to hold the sump in place. And then it's a sight glass. Pushing one of these sight glasses. So we've got two of these little sight glasses in. Shouldn't need glue, it says. These are literally just a push fit, hopefully. So on this side, just push that in. That's what that looks like. The sight glass, I don't know if you can see that better on that camera yet. So hopefully that's the sight glass. And then you turn it over and you do the same on this side. It's the J-type screw in that hole, I believe. Nope. No, that one. And then the sight glass as well. And then the side glass just gets pushed into that side as well. Okay, 
So that's what that looks like. So I don't to see that. And there we go. So side glass in that side, side glass in that side. Yep. And the sump is now fitted on. Now this engine is definitely getting built up now, isn't it? Okay, and that's it for uh, issue 28.